Hello my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture series of ICC 9th Maths. We were doing chapter number 5 that is simultaneous linear equations. And in the previous video we started with the problem sums. I covered the type 1 with numbers, type 2 with numbers but 2 digit number. Now in today's video we are going to cover type 3 that is also with numbers but now there will be fraction sums. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita classes. Let's get started. So today we are going to cover the sums on fractions. The first question says the sum of a numerator and denominator of a fraction is 8. If 3 is added to both the number and denominator, both the numerator and denominator, the fraction becomes 3 by 4. Find the fraction. So when you have this kind of sums, first thing which we need to consider that is the numerator is x and the denominator is y. So let us consider let the numerator be numerator b x and the denominator b y. This is your first step b y and therefore you will write down the fraction. Therefore the original fraction original fraction is x upon y. This is your first step. Okay. Now we are going to apply the condition. They are saying the sum of a numerator and denominator of a fraction is 8. So sum of a numerator which is my x and denominator which is y that is, is equal to 8. This is my first question. Uh, for first equation. Second is if 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator. That means if 3 is added to x and if 3 is added to the denominator y the fraction becomes 3 by 4. That time the fraction which is your x plus 3 upon y plus 3. This becomes 3 by 4. This is my second equation. We need to cross multiply this. So we will get 4 whole into x plus 3 is equal to 3 whole into y plus 3. So this is 4x plus 12 is equal to 3y plus 9 or 4x minus 3y is equal to 9 minus 12 or 4x minus 3y is minus 3. This is my second equation. So I hope you understood the both equations x plus y is 8 and 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 3. Now you can just multiply 3 with the first equation to get it 3y and then you can add the two equations to eliminate y. Okay, so let us do this. I will just erase the, uh, this part. The question part is no more required. They are asking for the fraction. So finally we have to find out the fraction. Okay, so now what I will do is multiplying, multiplying equation multiplying equation 1 by 3 okay so I get 3x plus 3y is equal to 24 this is my equation 3 now this is plus 3y this is minus 3y so now we'll write adding equation 3 2 2 okay so first I write equation 3 that is my 3x plus 3y is equal to 24. Below this I am going to write equation 2 that is 4x minus 3y is equal to minus 3. Now add the two equations plus 3y and minus 3y get cancelled. So 3x plus 4x is 7x is equal to this is 21 and therefore x is equal to 3. So we got the value of x and that we are going to put in equation number 1. Let us rub this part. This part also is not required anymore. We just need the equation number 1 because we are going to put the value of x in equation number 1. So write it down putting, putting x is equal to 3 in equation 1. Your equation 1 is this. So 3 plus y is equal to 8 or y is equal to 8 minus 3 or y is equal to 5. So we got the value of x and y and therefore the original fraction is the original fraction they are asking for the fraction original fraction is we had the fraction as x upon y so x is 3 and y is 5 so the answer is the fraction is 3 upon 5. 
Okay. Let us move on to the next question. Next question is the numerator of a fraction is increased by 2 and its denominator decreased by 1, then it becomes 2 by 3. If numerator is increased by 1 and the denominator is increased by 2, then it becomes 1 by 3. Find the fraction. Again, your first step is to write let the numerator be x and the denominator be y, and therefore the fraction is x upon y. This is constant, these three lines you have to always write out. So I'm considering the fraction. I'm just writing the fraction as x upon 1, x upon y. This is the original fraction. Now apply the condition numerator of a fraction is increased by 2. That means you are increasing the, the, the numerator by 2 and its denominator decreased by 1. So the denominator is y minus 1. Then it becomes 2 by 3. So then the fraction becomes 2 by 3. So this is my first criteria. We'll cross multiply. So it is 3 whole into x plus 2 is equal to 2 whole into y minus 1. So this 3x plus 6 is equal to 2y minus 2. So then you get 2 by this side. 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 2 minus 6. Or we get 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 8. This is my equation number 1. Now the second criteria, if numerator is increased by 1, that is x is increased by 1 and denominator is increased by 2, denominator is also increased by 2, the fraction becomes 1 upon 3. So now cross multiply this also, 3 whole into x plus 1 is y plus 2, 1 into y plus 2 is y plus 2. So this is 3x plus 3 is equal to y plus 2 or 3x minus y is equal to 2 minus 3 or 3x minus y is equal to minus 1. This is my equation number 2. Now see these two equations. This is uh, 3x minus 2y and that is 3x minus y. If the coefficient of x is same and the signs are also same. So we can subtract. So what I'll do is I'll subtract 1 from 2 or 2 from 1, anything. So I'm writing here subtracting, subtracting 2 from one. So since I have written from 1, so first I will write down the equation number 1, that is 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 8 and the second equation that is 3x minus y, 3x minus y is equal to minus 1. Now since it is subtracting, subtraction, the second equation's signs will get changed. So these are all changing, 3x minus 3x gets cancelled, minus 2y plus y is minus y. And minus 8 plus 7 is plus 1 is minus 7. So y is equal to y got 7. Now I'll put this value of y in any of the equation. I'll put it in equation number 2. So I'm writing putting y is equal to 7 in equation 2. So my equation 2 is 3x. 3x minus 7 is equal to minus 1. 3x is equal to minus 1 plus 7 or 3x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 2. So I got the value of x2 and the value of y7 and therefore the fraction, the fraction is x by y that is 2 by 7. So this is the answer for the second question. Okay. Let us move on to the next question. Find the fraction which becomes 1 by 2 when its numerator is increased by 6 and is equal to 1 by 3 when its denominator is increased by 7. So again, let us find, consider the fraction is x upon y. First, you will write the numerator be x and the denominator be y and therefore the original fraction is x by y. Now apply the condition, we, uh, fraction becomes 1 by 2 when its numerator is increased by 6. So only the numerator is increased by 6, denominator remains as it is and the fraction becomes 1 by 2. So this is my first criteria. Apply cross multiplication 2 whole into x plus 6 is equal to y or 2x plus 12 is equal to y or 2x minus y is equal to minus 12. This is first equation. Now the second criteria is equal to 1 by 3 when its denominator is increased by 7. So now the numerator remains same and the denominator is increased by 7. The fraction becomes 1 by 3. This is the criteria. Cross multiply, so 3x is equal to y plus 7 or we get 3x minus y is equal to 7 and that's my equation number 2. So here you can see this is also minus y minus y, both the coefficients are same. So we will subtract again, we'll do 1 minus 2. So 1 I'll write first, 2x minus y is minus 12 and this is 2, 3x minus y is equal to 7. 
since it is subtracting, subtraction change the signs. Okay, so this is getting cancelled. 2x minus 3x will give you minus x. Minus 12 minus 7 will give you minus 19. So this will get cancelled and the value of x is 19. So we got the value of x 19. Now we will put it in anywhere. I will put it in equation number 2. Okay, so putting putting x is equal to 19 in equation 2. So my equation 2 is 3 into 19 minus y is equal to 7. So that is 57 minus y is equal to 7. Minus y is 7 minus 57. So minus y is minus 50. Y, y, uh, minus minus gets cancelled, y is equal to 50. So x is equal to 19 and y is equal to 50. And therefore they are asking for the fraction that is 19 upon 50. So this is our third sum based on fractions. So in today's video, we have got two more sums based on fractions. So question number four is a fraction becomes half when one is subtracted from its numerator and one is added to its denominator. So again, we have considered the fractions as x upon y. Now it becomes half when one is subtracted from the numerator. So x minus one and one is added to the new denominator. So y plus one and this time the fraction becomes half. So this is my first criteria. Cross multiplication, 2 whole into x minus 1 is y plus 1. So this is 2x minus 2 is y plus 1 or 2x minus y is equal to 1 plus 2 or 2x minus y is equal to 3. This is my first equation. Now apply the second condition also it becomes 1 by 3 when 6 is subtracted from its numerator. So x minus 6 and 1 from the denominator. So 1 from the denominator and that time the fraction becomes 1 by 3. That's all. So again cross multiplication 3 whole into x minus 6 is equal to y minus 1. 3x minus 18 is equal to y minus 1 or 3x minus y minus 1 plus 18 or 3x minus y is equal to 17. This is your second equation. Now check this is minus y and minus y. Both of them are having the same coefficient. We will subtract because the signs are also same. So I will write 2 minus 1. So first I will write down the two second equation 3x minus y is 17. And then the first equation that is 2x minus y is equal to 3. And I will do subtraction. The sign of the second equations will get changed. Minus this is plus and this is minus. This sign, uh, this is cancelled. So 3x minus 2x, that will give you x. And 17 minus 3, that will give you 14. So the value of x is equal to 14. Now I'll put this uh, in equation number 1. Equation number 1 seems smaller. So putting x is equal to 17, uh, sorry, 14 in equation 1. Now your equation 1 is 2 into x, 2 into 14 minus y is equal to 3 so that's 28 minus y is equal to 3 minus y is equal to 3 minus 20 that is minus 25 minus and minus gets cancelled and y is equal to 25 so this is your value of y so x is 14 and y is equal to 25 so we have the fraction as 14 upon 25 this is the answer okay now let us move on to the last question of today's video and that is the denominator of a fraction is greater than its numerator by 9. So we have considered the numerator as x and the denominator as y and therefore the fraction is x upon y. These are the three first steps as I told you. Now they are saying the denominator of a fraction is greater than its numerator. So denominator is greater than its numerator. That means the denominator y minus the numerator x is equal to how much greater it is by 9. So this is my first equation. y minus x is equal to 9. I'll write it. I'll write first x, x plus minus x plus y is equal to 9. This is my first equation. Now they are saying that if 7 is subtracted from both in this numerator and denominator, the fraction becomes 2 by 3. So that means you subtract 7 from x, you subtract 7 from uh, y also, the fraction becomes 2 by 3. Now cross multiply 3 whole into x minus 7 equal to 2 whole into y minus 7. So this is 3x minus 21, 2y minus 14. So that's 3x minus 20y is equal to minus 14 plus 21 or 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. This is my second equation. 
Now the first equation I will multiply by 3. So let us multiply this equation by 3 so that the coefficient of x becomes same. So this is minus 3x plus 3y is equal to 27. That is my equation 3. Now I will add equation 2 and 3. So just I will write adding equation 2, 2, 3. So equation 2 is 3x minus 2y is equal to 7 minus 3x plus 3y is equal to 27. So this is getting cancelled. 2y plus 3y, y 27 plus 7 that is 34. So we got the value of y. Now we will put it in uh, equation number 1. Okay. So I will just put it here. I will rub this part. So I'll write down putting putting y is equal to 34 in equation 1. So that's minus x plus 34 is equal to 9. Minus x is equal to 9 minus 34. Minus x is equal to minus 25. So minus minus cancels x is equal to 25. So we got the value of x25 and y34, therefore the fraction will be 25 upon 34, that's all. Okay, so in today's video we have completed type 3, that is a, a problem sums based on fractions. And I think you understood this is the most easy type I feel. So in the next video I will be starting with the sums based on ages, okay. And we will be doing a lot of practice based on ages which is again important type. So thank you so much and if you feel these videos are helpful for you, so please subscribe the channel and press the like button. Thank you. Stay tuned.